Fitness is important for a referee. Covering around 10 kilometers whilst concentrating on the fast moving spectacle unfolding around you and having to make snap judgments all at the same time. This is no job for the half hearted. Meet Bibiana Steinhaus. She's a police officer as well as a referee, and she's the first woman to have been appointed to take charge of men's professional matches in Germany. I started refereeing matches when I was 16. These were youth matches in women's football. That's where I took my first tentative steps before I could start refereeing men's matches as well. Those men's matches were, of course, mainly in local and regional leagues. But I think what left a mark at that age was the youthful enthusiasm with which I approached my task. She was recognised as the leading official of the women's domestic game in her early 20s, so taking charge of the men was the natural next step. But how did the fans take to the elevation of a woman referee to the professional men's list? In 2007, when Bundesliga matches, or at least matches in the second Bundesliga, were refereed by a woman for the very first time, there was huge coverage in the media. But soon after, when people quickly realised that it was something that worked, it no longer was such a big talking point. Today, no one is really interested in it anymore, and it's now not worth a newspaper headline when a female referee takes charge of a match. Being a referee is something of a lifestyle choice. It appeals to the perfectionist, and if they also happen to be an enforcer of the law, the transition to whistle and cards is something that should come naturally. I'm not just a football referee. I'm also a police officer. I think that these two professions, or even vocations, have a lot in common. As a referee, I've got my rule book, and I have to stick to this rule book whenever I referee a match. And similarly, as a police officer, I have all these legal texts with which to follow for all of society. FIFA has been trying hard to develop women referees, and Steinhaus is one of the best and most experienced in the world. It was no great surprise when she was selected as one of the officials at last year's FIFA Women's World Cup but she was only one of a very large and well-trained team. There were 51 female referees and assistants, all told who were part of the World Cup. 51 of us. And alongside us were around another 20 people who acted as a team behind the team. With Sonia Denencourt, our head of refereeing for the female referees at FIFA, the team behind the team, that's what I like to call them, gave us the best possible conditions. Because of that, all 51 of us could prepare as well as we were able. They prepared us in the best possible way to make us aware of anything that might be asked of us. They prepared us for the pressure that might put us under strain in all sorts of situations for the different situations within a match where we'd be called on to make a decision. We really were prepared for this event in the best possible way. The Germans had been winners of the two previous tournaments. They were hosts and very warm favourites, but they unexpectedly fell to Japan in the quarter-final. The single goal left the nation's fans stunned. But oddly enough, it opened a door for Steinhaus. As the Germans wouldn't be there, she was now eligible to take charge of the final and was duly selected for the showpiece match of the women's game. It really was an incredibly wonderful crowd. A great atmosphere in the stadium. When, many days later, you find out how many people had been sitting in front of their televisions around the world to watch this match, you're quite stunned. Maybe it's good that you don't know how many people will watch it in advance. The game between Japan and the USA was one of the most dramatic women's matches ever played. The Japanese, the heavy underdogs, twice came back from behind before winning on penalties. 
I think for the spectators, it was a fantastic final. It really was a worthy conclusion to this tournament because it was such a great match. It was simply a terrific advert for women's football. It was very open, a competitive match, but both teams played fair at all times. And there were all the highlights possible. Extra time, a penalty shootout, really there was everything. I think the spectators enjoyed every moment of the show, and it was just the same for us down on the pitch. It was fun for us to do what we did, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. It was unbelievable. Though it'll be hard to top refereeing a World Cup final, Steinhaus still has many more years of top-level officiating to come. There's been frequent talk of promotion to the Bundesliga itself, one of the world's most popular leagues. To be able to take a place amongst the German elite in her early 30s would be an indication that this is a referee of the very highest quality. They're fully on her own merits, not merely as a token woman. Bibiana Steinhaus is truly one of football's mold breakers. <laughs>